Hello everybody, this is Hayden from No Panzer, and today I'm going to be giving you guys a couple quick tips on the DX6. Now, I love this radio, but it can be slightly confusing at times, and one of the hardest things for me uh, figuring out this radio was where to reverse throws. It didn't really just outright say anywhere. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that, and I'm also going to give you a quick tip on uh, the travel section of the radio. That was kind of confusing me just the other night, believe it or not. So uh, let's get right into it because this can be a difficult uh, radio to understand, but once you get it, it's uh, quite a breeze. So we're going to wait for the intro sequence to finish. And so here we have the aircraft that we want to modify, at least in software terms. So we're going to click this long button to access the menu. And so we're going to go down and, and we can see that it doesn't say, you know, uh, reverse throws anywhere. That is because actually what you have to do is you have to go to servo setup and then from here from list you go down to this box. I didn't realize that this was actually an option that you can change. I thought it was just the name for the option. So what you do is all you have to do is just click on this box then it'll start flashing and you simply roll the button until you get to reverse throws. And then all you have to do is just go in, click, and it will reverse the throws for you. Pretty simple. Uh, also, the throttle reverse, um, it will give you a caution and warning before you actually do uh, do so in reverse throttle. Uh, I think this is really helpful because reversing throttle throw can be dangerous if you do not know what you're doing. Um, so it's good that they have this uh, caution just in case you do accidentally click the button. Because I know I've had some misclicks before and they've never amounted to anything, but if it was something like this, that could cause a uh, great problem in flight. Okay, so we're here on travel, and uh, travel, all it basically does is just edits the maximum amount of throw that the radio is able to ask the servos to perform. It, uh, if the servo is already capped out mechanically in throw, it won't give it anymore, but if there is still room, room for the servo gears to perform a larger throw, then this option will allow you to do so. All you have to do is just go, uh, click here, and you can edit like so. So what was confusing me is that I wasn't able to access the second aileron throw here. I was really confused. I tried to, um, I tried double clicking, but it would own, I tried all sorts of different combination of clicks. I used the clear and back buttons many times uh, to no avail. I just simply didn't know uh, what I was doing. It would only let me edit the second aileron throw. And this was because I gave it some aileron trim. So the radio thought thought that my stick wasn't centered because technically it's not when you give the when you give the aircraft trim what you're basically doing is this but the radio does it for you it's giving you that little bit that little bit of trim that you would have to give the aircraft but the radio does it for you and so i wasn't able to trim out both of them however all you have to simply do is just let the radio know that it's now centered. All you have to do is just either set the, set the trim back to zero or give your stick a slight push to the side and then you can edit both. And if you want to edit the top value, just push it more. So guys, I hope that was helpful. This was my first video, so please like and subscribe. Uh, constructive criticism in the comments would be nice. I'd really appreciate that. Um, I hope that this uh, video helped. I know that this uh, radio was a little bit confusing for me when I start, first started using it, but it's an excellent device. It's great quality. It's never let me down. And uh, I hope you guys uh, can uh, figure it out. So uh, thank you for watching. Have a good one.